For anyone who's still a little unsure on how the pin line system works in AutoCAD, I hope this guide will be a bit of help. So, you should be able to recognise this shape. We've drawn it a couple of times now in design and drafting. And here we have the third angle view with the shape up there. Now, I haven't put any hidden lines on this. Um, the first thing you should do when you want to put the hidden lines in is put continuous lines, just your standard sort of normal lines, where the hidden lines should go. And you can change them to be hidden afterwards. So I'll just quickly get these hidden lines, or some of the lines where the hidden lines should be. Okay. Now, select the lines that you want to be hidden. Over in the properties of these lines, we can see their current line type is set to be by layer. But we don't have very other many options for what we can change it to. If you type LT, that stands for line type, and it opens the line type menu. So we can see here the current lines which are loaded into AutoCAD, and there's not many. Pretty much we just have continuous. So if we want to find hidden, we can go to load, find hidden in this menu, click that, OK, hidden is now loaded in, OK, and back here. Now, now that we select these lines, we can drop them down to hidden, and they still don't look hidden. The issue with that is that when the line is created, it has a certain scale applied to it. It's possible AutoCAD thinks that the line is going to be, I don't know, something like this. It's going to be a, a dash, dash, dash sort of thing, really big dashes. But those big dashes aren't going to fit easily in our small, small drawing there. You can have a, a look at what the line type scale might be currently by drawing a long line and making it hidden. So you can see, yeah, they're, they're pretty large, pretty large spacings. For the small spacing we've got here, if we want the line type to fit, we need to rescale it. So we can rescale the line types with LTS, or line type scale. This is a global factor. It applies to all of the lines which are currently drawn in AutoCAD. So we get the feeling that 1 is too big. The dashes are too far spaced. We could try a value like 0.1 and see how that goes. So now this line's coming out good, but these other ones still look a bit small. So let's try that again. LTS. This time I'm going to go with 0.01. Now these ones look okay, but that one's a bit finely spaced. You can keep playing around with it until you find a scale that looks about right, lets you know that the lines are hidden and that there's nothing funny going on. Anyway, I hope that's helped.